Hello, my lovelies. It's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to simplify these two expressions here. Let's start with our first example. Here we have a fraction that is raised to a power of a, and this whole thing then is raised to another power. We see different shapes of parentheses here, these ones here and these ones here. There is no difference in the meaning, it's just that we can distinguish them better. There are several ways now how to solve this. I show you one possible way. So maybe we first take a look at these exponents here. Because there is a rule how to simplify these. If you have something like x to the power of a and then you take this whole thing and raise it to the power of b, then you can simplify this by taking your base, your x, and just multiply the exponents. So you take your a and multiply it by the other exponent by b. Let's apply it here in our example. What's our base here? Well, this whole thing here is our base because we take this to this power and then this thing is raised to this power. So it has this structure here. We take our base, just write it down like this, put it in parentheses, and now we just multiply the exponents. So we take the one exponent, the a, and multiply it by the other exponent by 3a. Okay, it looks better already. Now maybe we simplify here the exponent. We have a multiplication here everywhere. So um, I write down the fraction again and let's see how we can simplify this exponent here then. When we have a multiplication we can first take care of the numbers. Here is only one number so the number won't change. It will be a 3. And then we take a look at the variables we have here. It's a times a. So let's see what a times a equals. When you have powers of the same base, there is a rule if you want to multiply them. You have to take a look at your exponents. There are no exponents. <laughs> we can't see any exponents. But if you can't see any, it is a 1 here. So a to the power of 1 and a to the power of 1. And then you are allowed to multiply them if they have the same base. You take the base, your orange thing, and just add the exponents. So you make 1 plus 1. 1, which equals 2 then. So the result of this multiplication equals a squared and we write it down here. Okay, this is what we have now. Now, we still have these parentheses and when we want to simplify something, we want to get rid of all the parentheses. So how can we do this now? We have this thing to the power of this there is a rule, so if you have x divided by y to the power of a, for example, then you can distribute this power here to everything inside your parentheses. So you have to make x to the power of a, and you have to distribute it here as well, so you also have to do y to the power of a. Let's apply this rule here. We have our fraction. Here we have our x. We take this to this power. So this is our new exponent for our x. But we have to distribute this here as well. So we take what we had here, the y squared, and raise it to this power. So we write it in parentheses and raise it to the power of 3a squared. The big parentheses are not there anymore, but here are still parentheses, so we want to get rid of these as well. How can we do this? The thing on top looks good. We can leave it like this, but here 
it's the same rule we already had when we have an exponent and all of this is raised to another exponent, so we are allowed to multiply these. We take the base, our y, and multiply 2 by this exponent by 3a squared. Now we are allowed to multiply the numbers, so 2 times 3 just equals 6. We have our a squared here as well, and this is the result of our simplification. There is nothing else that we can do here. There are no parentheses anymore, no negative exponents or anything else. So we are done, and we can go to our second example here. Here we shall divide this expression by this expression. We have a negative exponent here, here as well, and inside our parentheses we just have a fraction that is multiplied by a, and here the same, a fraction that is multiplied by b. There are many ways again how to simplify this. I show you one possible way. Maybe before we take a look at these negative exponents here and before we take a look at the division, we take a look at the things inside our parentheses. We can, I just leave the negative 3 here, we can write this as one fraction. So we can multiply the 1 over 2 by a by writing the a as a fraction itself, so a divided by 1, and then we have as a result 1 times a equals a, and 2 times 1 equals 2, so we have one fraction here inside our parentheses now, and we divide this by here, we do the same. We have our negative exponent, okay, but we want one fraction here, so we write the b again as one fraction, b over 1, and then we multiply. 3 times b equals 3b, and 2 times 1 equals 2. Okay, now we have to take a look at our negative exponents here. Um, what is a negative exponent? If you have, for example, something like x to the power of negative 5, then this is the same as 1 over, it's always 1 over, and then you take this expression here, but you change the sign of your exponent. So if you have a negative 5 here, you write a positive 5 here. So a negative exponent is a fraction, actually. Um, you take your power and write it in the denominator here. Another example would be something like a to the power of negative 3x. We've just seen that this is a fraction because of this negative exponent here. So we can write it as 1 over, then we take this power and change the sign of the exponent, so just write 3x. And this is super helpful if you work with fractions. Let's say you have something like this here, where you have positive exponents but also negative exponents and you want to simplify this, so you want to get rid of the negative exponents. The positive exponents are okay, so a, a squared, we can leave it like this. The same here, d to the power of 4, we can leave it there, it's fine. But we want to get rid of the negative exponents. We can do this by writing them as a fraction or by just putting them in the denominator of a fraction. So we take this power here that has a negative exponent and if we want to have a positive exponent we just take this thing and write it in the denominator of the fraction. So b to the power of 3 then. Instead of having it on the top of the fraction we write it to the bottom of the fraction. And the same with this thing here. This negative exponent tells us I'm in the wrong place. I don't want to be in the bottom of this fraction. I want to go on top, so please put me there, then you can make me positive in the exponent. So we take the c 
and write it as a power to the power of five instead of the negative five. And this is the way to deal with the negative um, exponents. So you just have to switch the positions of your powers that have a negative exponent. So let's try to apply this to our example here. We have a negative exponent and we want to make this negative exponent positive. We've just seen that we are allowed to do that if we switch or flip our fraction. So we take the a and write it in the bottom and we take the 2 and write it on top. And then we do the same here with our second fraction. We have a negative exponent. We want to make it positive. We are allowed to do that if we flip the fraction. So we take the two from the bottom and write it on the top and the other way around. And this is what we are allowed to do. And it looks better already. We have positive exponents here now. Okay, then we can get rid of the parentheses here by distributing this power to every term in here. So we have 2 to the power of 3 and a to the power of 3. And we want to divide this by here the same. We want to get rid of the parentheses. So we distribute this exponent to every part in here. So we have 2 to the power of 2 and 3b to the power of 2 as well. So I take the 3b and write it in parentheses because I want to take this whole thing and raise it to the power of 2. Okay, then let's calculate a little bit. 2 to the power of 3 equals 2 times 2 times 2. So this is 8 a to the power of 3, we leave it like this. Then we want to divide this by 2 to the power of 2 equals 2 times 2, so just 4. And here there is a rule. If you have a multiplication in your parentheses and you want to raise this to a power, then you distribute this power to every part in your parentheses. So you have 3 to the power of 2 and you multiply this by b to the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 3 times 3, so just 9. And this is where we are now. And now we just want to divide this fraction by this fraction and we can do that by taking the first fraction as it is and instead of dividing by this fraction we multiply by its reciprocal. So we just flip this fraction, we take the 4 and write it to the bottom and we take the other stuff and write it on the top and now we want to multiply these two fractions. Before we multiply, we can check if we can reduce the fractions. So the 8 and the 4, for example, they are both divisible by 4. So 4 divided by 4 equals 1. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Uh, this is all we can do from the numbers and the variables. So now we multiply. 2 times 9 equals 18. B squared. And on the bottom we have a to the power of 3 times 1, which is just a to the power of 3. And this is our simplified expression. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.